Today I'm going to discuss uh, the winter weather clothing I wear when I go fishing. And you can wear this for any outdoor activity as well. It's going to be two or three parts. Uh, the first part I'm going to discuss uh, temperatures ranging uh, between 40 and 30 degrees. And the next part I'm going to be talking about temperatures that range uh, sub-zero, uh, below 30, 20, 15 degrees. So if those temperatures are ranging uh, between 30, 40 degrees, I find just a pair of long johns and blue jeans. I like blue jeans in the cold weather. You just don't want to get them wet. But a pair of wool socks is, I find, to be sufficient. And the cool thing about this, this is stuff that everybody has around for the most part. Um, for the top region, I will start by putting on a uh, long john top uh throw a t-shirt on over any wool sweater over that and on top i'll go with my favorite hoodie and i'll wear this 90 percent of the time now for your hands neoprene is good but uh if you get wet if you sweat if the water dips below 40 you're going to feel that cold in your hands pretty good um so if it dips below 40 Go with a different pair of gloves go with your favorite pair of gloves i kind of like the wool gloves wool can get wet you can wrench it out and i found a plain old wool hat just works great throw my hoodie up over it double hoodie and i'm set let's go back to the top now i have my long john under t-shirt wool sweater then i have my favorite hoodie uh if it's windy out i found plain old windbreaker over all this will take you well below 40 degrees into that 30 degree range especially if you're moving around now if you're not moving around and you're going to be doing some standstill fishing so if you're not moving around and you're going to be doing some standstill fishing i will throw on a vest over my over my windbreaker over my hoodie uh over my wool sweatshirt over my long john and t-shirt for my top now waders in the winter, definitely consider neoprene waders. Uh, I'll put on the neoprene in the late fall while I'm striped bass fishing. And I found they'll take you into cold, cold temps. You'll actually be sweating uh, if the weather is 40 degrees and still out. Um, so you wanna be careful when you wear them. If it's a little warmer out and you're wearing those neoprenes, you will be sweating also do keep in mind everybody's a little different um i find my cold tolerance increases as the season goes on uh that first 30 40 degree days i might have to wear all of this uh but when we get into periods of like now i might be just as well be wearing i think it's uh, about 36 34 out i don't know it is i've seen some ice uh, but when the more the i get used to the cold and i'll be fine wearing uh, uh pants uh just uh a thermal underwear t-shirt sweatshirt overshirt uh one pair of socks hat and glove um but earlier in the season i find myself wearing more gear but it comes slowly you wear less gear as it goes on so and everybody is different everyone has their own t cold tolerances so this is just a good starting point so the second portion of this video, I'm going to talk about uh, extreme cold weather and uh, the additions I'll do. So if those temperatures dip below the 30, 20 degree range. Now I have here, this is a, a pair of thermal underwear. I'll put on another pair of those. But sweatpants will suffice just as well as, you, as a, a, another pair of thermal underwear. And uh, on top of them, I'll put my long johns on over and uh over that i'll put my jeans they'll take you down uh into the 10 degree mark easy but the wool socks are great uh, generally you can work with them just as is uh, if it gets a little colder i'll slap on another pair of thinner wool socks over the top of them I mean, you can put any old socks on top of them and they'll warm up your feet in a jiffy now the one thing i found uh when it gets extremely cold out and i have not had to do this in a few years we've been having mild winters is a wool undershirt that I'll put on over over my uh, long johns. I'll drop that on over. I get a size slightly small so it fits kind of skin tight. That will totally hold your heat in like amazingly well. And that will take you into cold, cold temperatures. The last time I can remember 
wearing this in extreme weather. It was 15 degrees out, but it was a still day and it was beautifully warm wearing the gear as I have laid out now. Except in the addition, I was wearing sweatpants. I, those were dug in somewhere, so I pulled out an extra set of long pants to show you. Now, one thing I'll wear, even when the temps are 40, but uh, is neoprene waders. These are a special set of neoprene waders. I cut the booties off. So this is almost like a bodysuit. You throw this on top of anything, you're gonna be sweating in 10 degree weather. So that is a beautiful out of shell, is neoprene. That neoprene will also take you well below the 30, 20 degree mark when you're dressed proper. So consider cutting, buying, or using neoprene when the temperatures dip. I have here, I, I, I cut the bottom of these off so I could slap these on for dry fishing and they will definitely take you to that next level cold if you put on those neoprene waders. They just hold your heat in. All right, so let's do a quick recap. Uh, 40 to 30 degrees, mild conditions, long johns and sweatpants. Wool socks if you want to throw on over socks. Beautiful uh, hat, your favorite gloves um, to that. You know, then we're talking weather between 40 and 30. I got my long john uh, top on, t-shirt, wool shirt, uh, over shirt. Uh, if it gets a little colder, I'll put on my jacket, my vest. Extreme cold, second part now, we're gonna start discussing extreme cold. I'm gonna throw on my undershirt over my long johns is going to be my wool sweater. I'm gonna throw on an, either an, a pair of sweatpants or a, another set of long johns over my long johns, over my pants, extreme weather. Weather between uh, 30 to 15 degrees out. And definitely slap on an extra pair of socks. If you're going to be getting wet, definitely go with the neoprene waders. They will keep you extremely warm uh, in all kinds of temperatures. You can even cut out clothing in certain degrees. You gotta kinda have to feel the touch of the weather. And that is the clothing that I wear while I am winter fishing.